Hey I'm Not Covers. Today I will be showing you how to make a power armor helmet. Now uh this is a extremely hard but kind of easy at the same time. There are very acquirable tools and they can be used easily. I mean this isn't is extremely hard. I mean you see I can do it. But it's it's more of an intermediate build. Um other than my foxy costume that I made. It used the same method, except without putting felt on it, <laughs> you know, making it fuzzy and furry and vicious at the same time. Um, the, what you'll need is you're gonna need some uh, silver duct tape, at least a, f um, a flashlight if you want to, a couple caps, like a lemonade cap from uh, Simply Lemonade or something like that. Um, maybe a soda bottle cap um like coca-cola bottle cap um you'll need some foam some a lot of cardboard a flower pot um a soldering iron with a razor attachment and these and bilge pipe uh or bilge oh, i don't know these uh tubes right here on the mask as you can see this is the mask and um so this is the mask. It, it, it has this is the simple lemonade cap. These pipes you can find them at Ace Hardware. They're really easy to find. And you have to cut your own length. And these um I got two of them, two feet. And uh, they need cardboard, a foam right here, this is squishy. Some Legos, like as you see, this is Lego, and the thing that holds this flashlight in is Lego. Um, I just have to go over it. And a uh, flower pot, is inside of this. And it, 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 when you have the soldering iron attachment, it gives a really nice uh, melted look. Kind of, uh, I don't know, it just looks really cool, I think. This is the flashlight does actually work. I just gotta turn it on somehow. Yeah, I'm gonna modify it a little bit. So, I'm gonna put it on. You probably can't hear me if I do it. So, this is what it looks like when it's turned on. Now, I'm not gonna do the visor because you can add any visor you want. Um, you can add this mesh stuff, anything like that you can use. Uh, yeah. So, um,. Without further ado, let's get started. The first thing you want to do is grab your flower pot and duct tape it all out. So you want to take this foam piece, and I cut it out. Sorry I didn't record that, but I cut it out into uh, this ga gas mask ready part. And I decided I just wanted to put it, you know, duct tape it. Instead of spray painting it, because spray paint is hard to foam, or foam is hard to spray paint. Oh my gosh. I was sick when I was doing this, so, uh, my voice was, like, really raspy and sniffly. So, uh, yeah. And, uh, you guys can find pre-recorded audio, audio in this. So, nothing really to say here. Fallout 4, good game. So is Halo 5. You guys should go check it out. Check it out. If you want to Xbox One, stop watching this video. Alright, this is a Simply Lemonade cap, and I used that for the gas mask, I believe. It's like one of the parts of the respirator in the front. Um, so uh, I had to empty out my lemonade. What better way to do that well, than drinking it? And so, uh, yeah, I just duct taped the whole thing and put holes in it. Awesome. So I added in the um, flashlight and I am about to put the tubes in and I noticed that they couldn't go in as well so I made these little buffers for them and I put on uh, duct tape on the ends to make them better at well, sticking in there and then I used these foam pieces I noticed that the head was a little too round and I put them on just to make sh just to make it look a little bit you know more commando I'm going to apply a bottle cap from a Jones soda bottle to the power armors as a flashlight. I will update it uh, furthermore. And
and uh, right now it's just a quick flashlight. Um, as you can see, I'm having trouble hot gluing it on. And um, I ran out of hot glue sticks, so I had to go get some more. Uh, and I'm just fixing up the, the, the piece that separates the eyes. I've painted this with a toothbrush, and I've made like it all look scarred. I messed up on the back there, so I had to use a towel. And then I just used that for the rest of the Thank, Thank you guys, guys for, for watching, watching this video. video. Um, I hope it helps you a lot on making your own power armor. And, um, yeah, this is a, it, this is kind of a medium build. It doesn't require a lot of money to get this done. It just requires hard work and, uh, probably a day. <laughs> As you can see, I've been working on this from, uh, 8 o'clock in the morning, and right now it's 5.28. So, yeah, I've been working on this for about nine hours. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> about nine out nine. I'm not a mathematician, so I don't do that much. But, yeah, so, um, see you guys.